As we come to the end of the meeting, it's time to start looking ahead to the coming year in biophysics. And to do so, I'm joined by incoming president, Dr. Katherine Royer. Thank you so much for joining us. Nice to be here. First question, what led you to this role and what was your motivation? I've been a member of the Biophysical Society since 1982 when uh, my thesis advisor took me to the Biophysical Society meeting in San Antonio. And uh, I was hooked from that point on. Uh, I, I've been to every meeting, I think, uh, since except for the years that I had children. How? <laughs> so uh, a stalwart member of the society. Uh, I've been uh, involved in the committees. I've been involved in um, uh, council before. And uh, when I was asked to run for president, I just felt like I, I could do that. With that background, what's your vision for the role of the Biophysical Society next year? The role of the Biophysical Society, we have a strategic plan, um, is to advance biophysics, um, to um, bring young people into the field, uh, the brightest, smartest young people uh, to, um, to move biophysics forward because we think that uh, society needs uh, the answers that we can provide. What challenges then are there in recruiting underrepresented minorities and how are you going to ensure, if possible, that this happens? Well, I wouldn't say I could ensure it, but it's very difficult across all STEM fields. Um, underrepresented minorities um, and recruitment of underrepresented minorities is really the toughest problem we face. Um, and this is for all uh, societies, universities uh, across the board. And of course, I think the problem goes way beyond the societies. It starts young. I'm going to a workshop that's being uh, run by the American Institute of Physics in, next month um, and they're working on trying to find new methods to, to, to excite young people about science. I grew up in a really poor neighborhood in the south side of Chicago and none of my friends ever ever thought of going into science. It just never crosses anybody's mind and I think that's where we have to start um, is going to people where they are. If we, if we bring people to the society, and I've heard this over and over again, if they come to the meetings, they really get inspired by the science. And, and many of the other impediments and you know, the awkwardness that they may feel uh, gets overwhelmed by just how interesting things are and you know, what the possibilities are for doing the science. And so we end up uh, keeping them uh, once we get them here. Sounds like this could be a very exciting place to be for all walks of life then. Yes, and I wish that we could bring in more of the public um, to see biophysics. It's complicated, you know, and, and we need to learn how to talk to people about our science um, who are not scientists, right, and, and get them excited about how we do science as well. How could you sell it to them? Well, I think, you know, image is everything, <laughs> right? Um, and we have beautiful, beautiful images of life. I was just in a session about single molecules. You can see single little proteins doing their jobs, you know, individual proteins and um, tiny little things that, that are 10 to the minus uh, 9, you know, meters. <laughs> They're tiny, yeah. And we can see them and we can watch how, the, how they work individually. Um, and that gives us all sorts of clues about uh, things like I was saying, how cells know when they're big enough to divide. Um, just key questions in, in science and, and that have applications, many, many applications that we can't even imagine all of them uh, in, in health and in environment and, and many, many uh, fields where we, we certainly need help. Uh, Truly fascinating. Thank you so much. Incoming President Dr. Catherine Royer, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.